Sometimes the way we get news for Tears of the Kingdom is very, very strange. Now, of course, we have that art book leak, and that's one thing. Naturally, some unintended stuff getting out there is not the way Nintendo wanted to market Tears of the Kingdom. But there's more to it than just that. What do I mean? Well, today we have some news on Tears of the Kingdom that is official. It's out there. No one can get in trouble for this. It's right there on the official website. But it's a very strange way for this news to get out there. Now, maybe you could argue this news is a bit expected. But even then, you would figure it would be something that they would announce with a trailer or announce in a Zelda Direct or something. But instead, we find out about it because of a line of text at the bottom of a website. Again, strange, strange marketing strategies. That being said, before I talk about this, I want to remind you that we are on a road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. So what are we talking about? Well, we all know back when we played Breath of the Wild that Nintendo released DLC, downloadable content. There were multiple different packs, including Master Modes and Trial of the Sword, leading all the way into things like the actual story DLC. And while we still know, well, really next to nothing about Tears of the Kingdom other than it exists and Sure, we can talk about all the new enemies and all this and that, but in general, the details we know about Tears of the Kingdom are pretty scant. And now we know the game will have DLC. Now look, the game having DLC isn't a shocker. It probably is expected after uh, Breath of the Wild. Then again, maybe it's not because the game comes out this summer. Maybe you didn't think there would be DLC this year, but I guess there's going to be DLC because at the very bottom of the website, it does say that DLC requires the full game. And I looked all over the website because there is a brief mention of Breath of the Wild on the website. And I thought maybe this was a reference to Breath of the Wild because, hey, Breath of the Wild is mentioned on the page. Why not say, oh, it needs DLC for the full game? But I kept looking, and nowhere on the official website does it have the double star anywhere. So uh, you could find the triple star and the quad star, which refer to things like Nintendo Switch Online and Amiibo support. And you find those on the page referenced in different areas, but usually the stars go in reference of order, and that would actually put the mention of the double star before the triple and quadruple star. And only the quadruple star is referencing Breath of the Wild. So this is, to me, fascinating. So I, I, I do see that this is probably for Tears of the Kingdom. It is on the official Tears of the Kingdom website, after all. And they just don't have the DLC section ready to go. So I don't know, man. This is, this is wild to me that we're finding out about DLC for this game without there actually being any update from Nintendo. Nothing they threw out there. No trailer or screenshot or announcement. It's just, hey, by the way, Tears of the Kingdom has DLC, and we listed on our official website. Have a good day. See you later. I, this is just strange. Tears of the Kingdom has had, to date, one of the oddest marketing campaigns in Zelda game history. Forget, like, oh, it's not. they're not doing it the same as Breath of the Wild. Well, no, they're not. You know, we didn't have an entire E3 dedicated to the game, and they're not trying to sell a new system. But this is just weird compared to any of Nintendo's games. How many other Nintendo games have we had details such as, I don't know, downloadable content confirmed for a game before we ever had a story trailer? How, like, I, I it's baffling to me how this stuff is coming out, but you know what? Hey, it is technically a thing. It is on the official website. So this is as official as it can get. I, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I, I oh, This campaign is, is confusing me. You know what's not confusing me? My friends here on YouTube. Uh, if you want to see uh, some crazy thoughts of top 10 
um, theories and ideas coming out of all of that official Zelda art that was out there, that spoiler stuff, you should go ahead and check out Andre Restart's most recent video. Uh, it's really, really good and really, really in-depth, and he does a good job with the imagery on not really showing while showing what he needs to show, and it's it's crazy. Uh, he did a really good job. He worked hard on that video. I also want to make sure that you guys are, you know, taking care of yourselves, eating well, brushing that teeth, <laughs> Uh, just, just taking general good care of ourselves. I think sometimes we focus so much on what's happening out in the world that we forget to take care of ourselves physically, mentally, hygienically. So uh, I want to make sure that we're all doing that as we head into, well, another eventual advertising cycle for a Zelda game. That being said, we have a Pokemon Presents today. Who knows what that's going to bring, at least at this point, because this is a very, really early in the morning video. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljans, and I'll catch you in the next video.